Hey everyone, how's it going? So uh, we've got a new update and it's another sigil event. Uh, this time they have awakened weapon for Sigramon and Xvmon. So this is called the uh, Hope Badge Limited Exchange event and we're gonna go into events here and have a look. So obviously you have diamond cost as well, diamond cost rewards, so the more diamonds you spend the more rewards you can get. And if I scroll down here, you will see that here we have, so if you spend 16,000 diamonds you can get uh, ultimate stream for uh, awakening weapon for uh, C Dramon. But there's another method which I'll show you right now, so I don't suggest you do this. Now, the other method is let's go on to Hope Event Exchange. Now, here, if I scroll down, you will also see okay, ultimate stream here, and you only need 19 golden badges. To get 90 golden badges, you have to do your daily tasks from here. For example, you see I've already done one here. So let's claim that, that gives me one. Now, in a day you will get, so I got one already, so this makes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twelve. Um, now, there is one thing I'm, go I'm going to minus because I think it was uh, recharge change of diamonds because not everyone's going to do this, so instead of twelve, I'm going to go to eleven. So if you get 11 a day in th in three days, it's going to be a uh, 33, right? And let's go back down here. Now this Supreme Hope pack it gives you like I think it's like 10 to 15 of um, golden sigils within a pack, and it's only 1,500 diamonds. So that means you can buy three of these to four, and it's only going to cost you like 6,000 diamonds plus three days of the stuff from here. That's going to add up to 90 diamonds, right? And you know, in 90 diamonds, you can uh, you can get your weapon from here. I mean, sorry, 90 uh, badges, golden badges, you can get your diamonds, uh, your um, awakened weapon from here. And that means what I'm trying to say is that means that you don't have to spend 16,000 diamonds for uh, awakened weapon of Seedramon, which is right over here. Instead, you just spend like 6,000 to maybe maximum of of uh, 8,000 if you buy a. Uh, like four of these. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. I know you all have your different uh, ideas and methods. Oh, and don't forget, you get like golden badges from daily logins as well. And um, I think from recharging, was it? If you did manage to recharge, you get. Let me have a look. Okay, maybe not. Oh, what's this one? Exclusive awaken. What? Material for. I wonder who this is for. There's nothing. This I'm gonna have to ask, guys. That's an interesting boxing gloves. And also, I bought XV on the weapon here. Don't buy it. Look, I'll show you a very nice, easy way to do it and for free. Cross server, go to store, and you have here Positron Laser. I've already purchased this once, and you guys can do the same. I mean, let's go to my XV on here, and I will show you. So, here I have XV on. Awakened and he's already awakened to position laser. You can see here on the, on the top right And you can see the star is already has one awakened star already Okay Next so let's go and complete our daily challenges. Let's claim this Diamond spend diamond spend and next you want to complete these as much as you can So star activate main instance elite instance trial Digimon and arena upgrade soul fight so let's go into arena first. Let's see if I can win. Not lose. Okay. <laughs> now we need go to breed. We need to star activate one Digimon. I don't have enough gold actually. Oh my god, not enough gold. Alright guys, I'm just gonna get some more gold from here. So, start activating some gas low. Alright, let's go with Pixie One. There we go. 
to activate one time and use Digimon Advance two times. So for two times we're gonna go with let's go with Kakumon. Let's go with Ranamon. And I need these skills upgrade for daily task. And next we have to upgrade soul three times. Before that, I forgot that there's no music playing in the background. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, now, soul, soul, who should we upgrade? Three times, yeah, so I'm gonna go with Omega one here. Twelve to thirteen. So start evade done, upgrade soul fight done, advance done. Next we have elite, main instance and trial Digimon and precious vitality and diamond spend. Diamond spend is easy, it will, it will go, go by very fast. Alright, so I'm going to skip forward here, guys. Alright, so uh, here I am at uh, floor 55. So let's finish this. Now, I hope you guys haven't really, like, haven't actually rushed to get your um, sigils already. Or especially to get your awakened weapon. Because if you have, oh, I feel sorry for you guys. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh, he's going to attack. He's going to attack. He's going to attack. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go back, guys, and refresh. There we go. Finished on hard mode. Okay. Alright, guys. Back, back. Claim our reward. Elite, you know, you can do this later. First of all, you can do it slowly if you want to. Purified Digimon tri uh, Trials, you can do this later as well. And Diamond Spend is slowly, slowly. So, yeah. Uh, I just want to go this, go through this over again just to make sure you guys like understand what, what I was trying to say at the beginning of the video. So, there is Diamond Cost Rewards. If you're still watching, uh, leave a thumbs up or any comments you have. And if you think this is a good method to get like a Waking Weapon for Seedramon, because personally, I think it's really good because you can spend like uh, 6,000 diamonds instead of 16,000. That's that's a really good cha like option for free-to-play players. But if you're a whale, if you're a whale, they're probably gonna like go for both of the uh, awakened weapons, not just one. So anyway, look, so spend 16,000 diamonds for ultimate stream, right? But then again, this is for the next uh, three days. Now 16,000 diamonds, and if you compare that for over here, where is this one? Yes. Here we have Ultima Stream for 90 uh, golden badges. Now, I'm personally thinking to do the same. I'd rather spend 6,000 diamonds than have to spend uh, 16,000. But that depends if you're actually going to use Seedramon. If you're not, then uh, hmm, you have to think about it carefully. So, and again, guys, I just want to mention here so you have 90, you need 90 golden badges. So far I got 5, and by the end of the day I can get 10 to 11. So if you get 30 in a day, and then if you go back to gift packs here, so 30 gift packs here would give you, I think that would give you 10 to 15 of golden badges. So let's say for example you get like 15 golden badges, right? So that's 15, 30, uh, and another 30, that's 60 golden badges, plus 30 from daily tasks, that's 90. And I'm getting 30 of, uh, from here, that's going to be like 1,500, 3,000, that's 6,000 uh, diamonds you'll be spending on this. Alright, so 6,000 plus a daily stuff, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 diamonds you'll be spending on here. So that's something to think about it if I were you. You either spend 6,000 to 8,000 diamonds to get your awakened weapon, or you can go crazy and spend, you know, 16,000 diamonds. And again, as I mentioned with the recharge, uh, XV Mon weapon, 
I personally I don't think it's really worth it to recharge for Xvima weapon where where it's actually free in the game. So you can get it for free from the cross server mine war. There you have it. And uh, as I said before, I already got it, so I don't need to get it again. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Oh, actually, before I even leave it at this, I just want to mention that there is some like new um, new updates on the guild they've done. So check one adventures when you open it, you can claim automatically your rewards, which is pretty cool. I will show you right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the guild section of my other account, and I will show you guys. So all right, let's go check one adventure, and then this comes up, right? All you have to do is click confirm. And you can get your rewards without having to mess around with uh, spending, wasting your time on it as well. And another thing, go into Arena and go to Crossover Mind War. And now you'll see a button here somewhere um, as soon as it loads. Now there's a button you can see here in the like, I can't zoom in, but let me point out with the mouse. So you can see here it says Challenge Times 5. Now if you click that, it's going to challenge, and it's free. I mean, it doesn't cost any diamonds. Unlike the Arena, it costs like 25 diamonds. So Challenge 5 times here. And we get the full rewards, full five rewards, and we can claim that. And obviously, if you want to do more, that charges 115 more uh, diamonds for the extra rewards. So that's pretty cool. A uh, new feature they added, or a new tweak to it. Now I'm going to go to Arena here, and you will see that here, it has win five times for 20 diamonds. This one is not free. I think on the cross server arena they made a mistake and they're going to change it, they're going to update it so that it costs diamonds. Obviously I, I'm, they want you to use more diamonds so you can ha you have to spend and recharge more so. Yeah, and, and on top of that I think there was something else for, um, I think they added an awakened weapon somewhere, I'm not, I'm not too sure, let me have a look. Uh, da -da -da. I, was, I, can't, I can't remember where it was. What's he on the draw? Oh yes, yeah, so they added like new Digimons to the draw. Um, like, if you're from a long time ago, so unlock the level 65, right? You see they've added Ranamon, I, you, I can't believe this, they've added Ranamon and Beetlemon. And you have Cubimon, Ankylomon, Bergeramon, Greymon, it's unbelievable. And then look at, look higher. This is absolutely insane. If, if you just started playing the game, right, I mean, let's say uh, eight or nine months ago you'd have to grind so hard for these it's unbelievable and how much damage you would have to spend for these so some people would actually recharge for example Agnimon or Dusmon and now they've added these for free where you could like and just like randomly get purchased ten times and somehow you'll have a chance to get uh, a free Digi, pre pot 15 Digimon or even Agnimon for example or Dark Tyranimon whether to get a four star Beetleman, oh wow. You'd have to play this for like four or five months to get him every day. Anyway, yeah, so that's the new stuff they've added. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Leave your comments down below. Alright, now I'm just gonna go into the shop here. Let's go into the guild shop. So I'm gonna buy some stuff. Yeah, anyway guys, um, thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video, take care everyone.